Hello my Owlets. I hope you guys are doing great. I know it's been a while since, it seems like it's been a while since I filmed anything. I've had some pretty major life changes happen, but I'll go into that in another video. But today, I thought I would pop on and we could update, or I could update my uh, Everyday uh, Creative Daily Journal. I've been, um, I'm, I'm behind, but I'm okay. It's going to be just fine. <laughs> I'll just keep telling myself that. But I printed out some photos, and so I thought I would go ahead and add them to um, my journal. And I have this page that I want to work on, so I thought we, I would do that while I have you guys on film with me. So, yeah, we are in football season. We have started Brazos. This is her senior year and so she is um she's still playing the tuba and she's excited she's a senior tonight we had the big homecoming pep rally it's a community pep rally and they um they basically all the seniors have balloons and they release the balloons and so i got some great photos of that and i can't wait to get that documented but this, this particular journal, um, as I mentioned earlier, has, um, had, let's see here, I think I'm just going to kind of, mm, I don't know if I want to cover that event ticket, which is probably fine. I'll probably just do that because um, it's just, it basically, now, in order to buy our football tickets, you have to go online. They started doing that during COVID, I guess, to try to limit, you know, how many seats, etc. And so it's just become an, a, um, it hasn't changed since then. So, um, but what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So this particular journal, um, as I mentioned before, has only goes through like the first half of September. And so... Um, technically let me see where this one goes through because like I said I am just really I've already kind of finished up uh, okay so I went ahead and finished um, doing just some adding some different kind of papers to the background etc um, and now I'm trying to go in and fill up the stories to it so at this point this one goes through the 15th we are now past the 15th so I'm actually should be working in my other journal but we're gonna get this one caught up here so yeah so I went ahead and I print this out usually they just you can put it on your phone and have a QR code but you know as journalers you want to have um, as journalers you want to have printable things so that you can put them in your journal so um, this particular weekend was the first weekend of it was a super busy weekend they had the carnival was in town which is like the fair they have the county fair and the carnival was in town and so was the football game so and this is just a random picture i took i was wearing a lot of black and white that day and so it was just a fun little photo that i took myself let's see here just kind of put some outlines here and then I know I get a lot of questions about what I write about and a lot of times I don't write while I'm filming because it's just literally taking that time to do it so probably what on this particular page what now that I have the pictures down I'm just gonna write in there you know first football game of the season and then basically just write exactly what I told you guys just now about the football season or, I mean, sorry, about the carnival being in town, etc. So, this is her, the next day they had a big parade, and in that parade, they do, um, and this was, uh, was it Labor Day weekend? So, I have this particular paper, I don't know where it came from, I've had it for a long time, because I just happened to come across it, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be perfect for this particular page. So, um... But what they do is for the weekend they have um, they have a big uh, parade, and so the beginning of the parade, of course, Brazos 
uh, my daughter Bryza, she was in the band, so they play, and then the then what they do is they get a ride back, and then they are on the very last uh, vehicle, or I guess you would call it a float. It was an 18 wheeler, and I was extremely nervous, and I'll tell you guys why. Um, but the very last. 18 wheeler to go through the parade had the seniors on it and they had they had did a color splash um they did a color splash uh where they basically threw colors on each other <laughs> let me throw this in my trash and so um she was as you can tell she was covered in paint all over i have a before picture and an after picture and then all her friends her band friends that had to like get into the car and get a ride over to the other side. <laughs> she had a blast. I think it was so much fun for them. And it was so fun seeing um, them and, and being able to, to to see that. So so what happened is that we, um, so me and my husband, we went down to um, the parade and we watched her in the band, of course, and cheered her on. We were at the, kind of at the end and we're like, oh, I guess it's over. And I was like, oh, uh, can you take me over to Dollar Tree? And so we went over to Dollar Tree, and she, and I and I don't know. I think he said something like, "You know, wasn't she supposed to be on a float?" I said, "You know, for some reason I'm thinking she she said she was trying to run to get a float because for a while there she wanted to borrow my car, and I was like, I don't really want all that everybody covered in paint in my car." And she was like, "Well, I can't." She had she drives a truck and so you can't put kids in the back of the truck and I was really nervous and we were having this whole conversation right but it didn't dawn on me that um, that she was going to be in the, I mean it did but it didn't you know and so <laughs> so we hop back in the car we go around to the beginning of where the parade kind of or the middle of the parade and we're texting her and we both have this um, 360 app thing. So we can kind of, uh, ooh, I gotta save that out. So we can kind of trace each other for where we're at. And <laughs> she's like, "Where are you guys?" Or she, I, I knew she could tell, and I could tell that she was on, moving along, very, very slowly, but she was moving along um, on the float. And so I said, "Oh, um, are you on the float?" And she said, "Yes, I'm on the float." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, we gotta go back." So anyway, we went around and we got out of the car and we watched her go by on the float and we were laughing to ourselves. We're like, okay, we cannot tell Brazos that we like left the parade because we thought, oh, she's done. And then uh, she, she was, I don't know, it, it, this is typical, typical stuff that I do, you know. So anyway, um, it was funny, but we got to see both things and she got covered in paint and it was like the kickoff to her... Uh, senior year so it all turned out well and she was covered in paint and then like tonight which was what like I guess it's been two weeks you guys so I haven't washed these um, clothes because they're actually it's acrylic paint they don't want they I was like well there's other paint like you buy that well some reason they have they want water-based paint I guess because they want it to be able to you know, run off or whatever. And so literally all the kids bought acrylic paint and threw acrylic paint at each other. Well, I actually washed um, some of her undergarments and it did not come out, but I did not want to put these jean shorts, she had jean shorts on and this white t-shirt in the wash machine because I was like, oh my gosh, it's that paint, you know? So I didn't realize that they were gonna be wearing them at tonight's pep rally. And so she's like, so she had it, we kind of just had it hanging in the bathroom. And she's like, this shirt is like putting on a piece of cardboard. <laughs> and it was, it was funny. Anyway, so she wore, the, all the seniors that, um, most of the seniors wore their shirts and they released balloons and it was, <sighs> it was, you know, I get emotional and stuff like this anyway, and she's like, I'm not emotional, I'm, I'm happy, and I was like, well, Brazos, it's different because you're, you're beginning, and you're so excited to, to start your, your journey, your new life, I mean, not a new life, but you know, your new chapter in life, which is 
not being in high school and going to be in college. And I said, and for parents, it's just, you know, we're like, oh my gosh, our kid is, you know, she's like, well, the good news is, is I'm not really leaving home, which she's not. She's going to be um, attending college close to us. So, so we'll be there um, to watch her, you know, she'll be able to come home and stuff. She only is going to, she'll be going three days a week and it's not that far from where we're at. So, and, um, you know, she's just not interested in doing the whole dorm, um, dorm life college experience. It's not really something that she's, you know, cause I've, I've, I, you know, be careful what you wish for because I have like promoted, like, don't you want to do that? You know, it would, you know, kind of get the experience down, you know, and she's like, no mom, I don't. And so I have to be like, thankful because um you know she's not interested in living in a dorm at all or doing the whole you know and I have to be thankful because she's kind of going um at least now we never know what can happen but she's kind of going the community um service route where um community service sorry community college but it's not really a community college it's a it's kind of like a junior college and so <laughs> she's gonna be doing community service no but anyway so that's kind of what's been going on and this year I really um, that is my goal is to really dedicate um, I don't want to miss a thing and so she's actually put me on an app so I don't miss anything with with school and because I have a tendency to be late or forget or, you know, all those things. So, um, definitely don't want to, um, to miss out on anything. So, and I'm happy because she, she wants me to be there. So that makes it a lot of fun too. Because even we were down like tonight, we were down a little ways from the where they were going to take photos and stuff like that. And I want to leave this because I'm going to tell the story about how they all had to get in the car. And I mean, literally, they sh they got they were all squished into um, her boyfriend's vehicle, <laughs> but. Um, you know, just like tonight, they were, so we always sat down, we always sit in the same spot every time, you know, that's a creature of habit. Um, and she texts me, she's like, come down here. And so I'm so glad she did because that way I could really take pictures, close up pictures of them releasing their balloons. And then we went on the field afterwards. And so it was, it was really nice. I'm just going to put all sorts of different colors on here so that when I go to write the story, they are here. Kind of goes with all her crazy colors. And so, yeah, so just what I'm going to do on this story is basically write out just what, what I told, what I've been telling you guys. So... And then I may just leave some of it blank and fill it in. And I think this one I'm just going to write like class of 2024 or maybe get some stickers. purple because that's the school colors.
yellow's kind of slick a little bit. outline it and then of course I have um, I'll find my little star stickers and put those on on the cover there and then let's see what we've got over here we got some die cuts we can add oh this is perfect so this is that the ephemera pack of Teen Spirit, which is girls. You know there's got to be some cute stuff in here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so perfect. These are the best days of your life. That's cute. Okay, let's do that. And then I can do little kisses on here. This was a kit. That, this ephemera pack was in a kit that was done probably like, I think probably like two years ago. Let's see. Where did that go? I just wanted to kind of look through here. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> Oh wait, here we go. Okay, okay. Makes me think of that song. These are the best days of our lives. Didn't know you guys were going to get sung to, did you? <laughs> yeah, I would definitely need to find some sparkle Oops. to put a big piece of glue. I'm just gonna put, I have my little trash pile right there. Um, but I found this little shimmer uh, stick that I picked up when I was at the, and it just adds like shimmer to everything. But I picked that up at the, at the um, Scrapbook Expo. And this stuff really actually dries really quickly. But I think what I'll do is once I, I can get in here and find my some little stickers and this is Smile, which is really cute. And these colors, um, these colors are perfect for, the colors of these die cuts are perfect for this page. All the color, I mean all the primary and because of the paint and stuff. Keep smiling. I know it's funny because I find myself um, when I whenever I'm doing things I always end up singing something that goes with the word or the whatever's happening it's funny I hope this fits on here I didn't even measure that before I just started gluing oh yeah that's plenty of space Sometimes when I'm writing, you know, it's another reason um, is it takes a while for me to like, because if I'm filming and I'm trying to write, you know, it's like I feel like it takes up time and um, I really need to like concentrate because then I've gone back and read some things. I'm like, this does not make any sense at all. Okay. 
perfect. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put these back in here. Um, I mean, you could just go. I might do that. It kind of brings it together. You know, I'll put that at the top. I go back and forth. I would love to hear how you guys store your ephemera because I've gone where I have a little box that's full of just ephemera, but then I also like to keep them in the packaging so that way I know what they are and I'm not just digging through a bunch of ephemera. And I've done both. Like I have one that's really um, has everything in its containers and then I have one that I've just started emptying them recently. I know. I, I go back and forth. So, okay. So that's this page. Yay, we got a page done. I just, like I said, I need to go in here and document it with writing. And then this is another page that I've kind of worked on. Um, and I was just going to add this to a quote that I had that I wanted to add on here. That's mine. And I use this double-sided tape. This is from Dollar Tree, and it works so good. And I use it mostly on like photos, and I'm gonna use it on this little art piece that I created. This was in a class that I did um, a couple summers ago. And it's like a little mixed media piece, and um, so I found it and. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just add it in here because it goes perfectly with everything that's kind of going on during this time frame. So, And, you know, a lot of times when I'm working in my journal, I will do this. I just kind of come in and... Um, I just, I just kind of like add things as I go and then I come back and I write the lettering or I add stickers or so a lot of times it's done in like increments it's, and sometimes it's done all in one like I, if I would have written down on that last page we just did if I would have wrote down some um, lettering and I did stickers I would already I would have it completed but for this particular um, this time frame with just filming I'm just adding I'm just adding things in here and we'll come back in and finish those pages up Oops. because I, I have my journal that I'm ready to take with me on the trip we're going on in a couple weeks. I am so excited and I've got to get that together, which I'm going to come, I still have plans to come on and, and film that. And this particular page, I've been thinking when I saw this, there's a song that came to mind, um, my fight song, and I'm going to write some of the lyrics down here because it's like in a small boat. Anyway, it just uh, fits perfectly with what's happening in this time frame. And then we're back into Tuesday and Wednesday. So, um, so yeah, so I've got to go back and pull some pictures and, and get those done. But I feel really good. I've gotten, you know, that's one, two, four days that I am pretty feel pretty good about. Um, you know, so I'll come in here and, I mean, like I said, sometimes it's done in increments. Sometimes it's sitting down and finishing it up. But there. and then I'll come in and write. All right, you guys. Well, I know that was a short and sweet journal with me, but I missed you guys. I'm gonna be filming more. I've just had so much going on um, in my life right now that um, it's just been a little hectic, and um, I don't want to miss my daughter with anything. So. Um, but, like I said, 
we have exciting things coming up and so I'm excited to get my journal ready for that and yeah so I will see you guys in my next video bye bye